Hi Geminis, let's uh, do your love reading. What have we got for you today in February? Ooh. Well, that's a lot of cards to fall out. It's probably a little bit too many. So let's do that again. Come on, Spirit. I know you're excitable today, but um, <laughs> the energy is very vibrant today, especially around you guys. Um, if you are on the cusp at all with Taurus, um, I would say um, you seem to be jumping out. That energy at the moment, that Gemini Taurus cusp is jumping out. So expect that at this time you'll have lots of things going on, lots of changes, just being very sort of busy and when it comes to love. Right, so we possibly have here the return of a person. This is sometimes also a third party energy. So don't be surprised if, um, you know, if they went off and you heard that they were with somebody else and you know wonder or you might be with somebody else we've got this here let's see what this is all about please oh yeah look see empress energy fantastic divine feminine energy um pisces energy as well for some of you here as well if you are connecting with a pisces this i mean i would say pay close attention it doesn't mean it's not your reading if you're not but just you know keep a keep a close watch on this for some of you are on a bit of a spiritual journey at the moment. Um, so love is going to take pretty much a back seat. The universe is sort of trying to shift things out of the way for you, any distractions. And it's kind of putting you in situations where you're forced into looking at you, you know, reevaluating your sense of self-worth, you know, finding who you are supposed to be finding your true self, your pathway, all of those things. These are big monumental steps. And love is sort of a cherry on top at the moment. That's what that's what I'm getting here. Oh, look, see, saying that. Look, here's your card. Here's your energy. Gemini energy just here with the lovers. Now, this is fantastic that you've come out in your reading. Um, for, for many of you, yeah, you will be connecting with your soulmate this year later on. I keep seeing mountains, lots of mountains. I don't want to say it's traveling, like when you're traveling, but I feel like either they really love traveling, they could enjoy camping or hiking. This could be you as well. Um, but I get the impression that you have, you definitely have a shared love for things and you meet one another, um, kind of doing doing what you love or on a hike or something like that like you so if you're not in a walking group or a hiking group or something like that at the moment go join one this is where you're going to meet your soulmates yeah you're making this happen this right here i feel like you, you are linking with somebody in um on the astral plane right now so this could be a past person um that, that you haven't quite moved on from just yet um you are still linking with them. So if they're popping into your mind, just because you're linking up with them doesn't really mean anything. It's it, it's not everything has a deep significance um, that we go through. Um, but this is part of that spiritual learning, part of that journey is that you start to realize that the, the universe gives us these opportunities. We don't have to take them. It just gives us the opportunity and sometimes it gives us the tools. But right here, this is that strong kind of, is that person coming back? I feel like that person is blocking you from being able to have your best life possible. I actually get the impression of this as well. This person thinks about you a lot, like a lot. And that's why they're coming through. That's why they sort of keep popping into your head there. I had to have some coffee. Um, I kind of get the impression that maybe at times this person is very intrusive in your energy. Very intrusive. Like, you, they don't have to be so intrusive. Maybe they don't realize they're doing it. But when someone is thinking about you a lot, then they sort of become a nuisance like this. We do have the Ten of Cups here as well, which is like... As I hold this here, I feel like we've got a dream or a fantasy. You could be connecting on that. I think, yeah, and you've got astral connection with this person. So you could well dream about them as well. But it's like they're pulling you towards them. Um, 
kind of astrally and in the 5D, but like in the 3D, where are they? What are they up to? What are they doing? They're not there, are they? They're hiding, <laughs> like literally hiding. Now this is Cancer Energy. Um, I did just do a uh, reading on Cancer. Um, and I've completely gone blank as to what came out in that reading. But um, it, it might be worth checking that out. But this essentially is we've got something hidden. The full moon energy as well. You want to take that into consideration at this moment in time. Um, oh, I've got another card. Hold on. Yeah, king of cups energy as well. This is that breadcrumbing energy. They're here. They're interested. They're romantic. They seem perfect. But then they don't actually show up when they when they're needed sorry for all the faces there i don't know i feel like sometimes that's them it's sort of oh i don't know scratching the head oh i don't know oh i just oh, i'm not sure if i can make that i don't know about that but rather than going off and checking they just kind of go oh yeah well we'll you know it's like they're trying to put you off without actually saying no i can't do that i'm not available so it's breadcrumbing they're leading you on a little bit what else, please, for this person? Who is can? Uh, sorry, not can. This is this is the cancer one. Who is Gemini connecting with, please? Who is Gemini connecting with in love? I heard plain as day, Sagittarius. We do have the full card here as well. So this is Aries energy, but Sagittarius. Um, it's sort of the same vibe. It's very fun. It's very spontaneous. And I feel like actually Aries energy would kind of suit you quite nicely. Is this person going to be your soulmate? I don't, if it is this person, I, I feel like actually for some of you, yes. It's not going to be for everybody, but for some of you, yes. And I'm just trying, I'm just asking them to give me a little bit of a clue which group it is, please. So we've got the letter B coming through. I keep seeing hats as well. So if someone is like, um, you know, they wear hats a lot, like they wear them in the winter, they wear them in the summer, they love a hat. Um, uh, this is this is the person. It's almost like you have to prize the, the cap off of them or the hat off of them. I do get that this person loves being outside. Like this is an outdoorsy person. So if you have met somebody that's very outdoorsy this is the person if you haven't met them yet don't worry they are coming okay so this person could be also be quite sporty i do see the color blue um i see blue and white with them um so that could be the the colors of a team that they support um I get as well here, like they're always following some sort of sports, like they're very, like they don't stick to one, like there's some, there's seasonal things, like they will support or they will watch. So if it's like rugby time of the year, they're, they're into rugby. If it's cricket, they're into cricket, probably not horse racing, but I wouldn't put it past them. Like if it's on and, and they can watch, they will watch it. Do you know what I mean? They just love that sort of um, competition. Aries again. So Aries seems to be the energy. I'm not going to ask them again because I don't want to upset them too much. But um, yeah, my Gemini's darlings, I feel like you'll be very blessed this year when it comes to meeting your soulmates. And for some of you, you have probably met them already. So thank you so much for watching. Um, hang in there if you haven't met them just yet. If you enjoyed the reading, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And um yeah, hang around. I'll, I'll see you next time.